So I'm hearing rumors right now that William Zapata, which is a surprise to me because I didn't think that William Zapata would actually be trying to set up a fight before the Lomachenko fight, which is in a couple of weeks. So we'll see. Right now it's rumors, but they're saying that uh, basically William Zapata and uh, Giov Giovanni Guerrero, who was an opponent for Isak Cruz last year, I want to say on the uh, Spence uh, Crawford uh, card. I think it was like co-main event, something like that. Uh, I definitely um, remember that fight having the last year. And uh, right now, Cabrera is an opponent that a lot of people are actually looking at. And um, let me tell you, I'm going to tell you all something, too. A lot of guys are actually getting opponents that somebody fought already. That'll be something I'll say later on down the line. Not as far as Cabrera not being a good fighter. Cabrera is an excellent fighter. Um, as far as at the top 10, top 10 fighter, he's not someone you can go in there and really just just run all over. He's Cabrera's a threat. Um he's definitely um somebody I had predicted last year that would uh he went twelve rounds with Isak ten rounds with Isak Cruz. Um Cabrera's not an easy out, man. You know, so it'll definitely be a challenge for Williams Zapata. It'll be something different than what he had against Maxi uh Hughes. Um at this time right now, maybe he just wants to take something to kind of Keep his juices flowing, but who knows? Uh, at this time right now, uh, Giovanni Cabrera he's been out for a little while, uh, so he's gonna try to get back into things. But you know, it'll be an advantage to Pedro because he just recently fought. So I don't know when Cabrera last fought. I'll have to look, but I haven't seen him recently. Maybe I overlooked a card or so. But uh, Williams Zapata is definitely um in line for that uh, Lomachenko uh, bill. I know a lot of people are saying. Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson. Um, the Shakur Stevenson thing, that's not really an option right now. And then the Tank Davis fight. I mean, if Zapata wanted the Tank Davis fight, he could have had the fight. That's that's just real as far as him or Oscar. But I don't think Oscar wants to go down that route right now because that would mean Oscar would have two guys at 135 fight Tank within 12 months. And that will be his top, top guys. And then... I don't know if Oscar wants to do that as far as having to pay to fight it, um, against Tank. And then he had two of his top 135s lose to Tank in 12 months. I don't know if he want to take that risk. I know a lot of people will say, well, you know, I don't know if he wants to. You know what I'm saying? He's taking a lot of risk this this, this month, this year. Uh, he just had Zerto go in the ring with a tough cruiserweight who's a champion. Um, got Ryan Garcia going against Devin Haney. So it's a lot of different things going on. He's trying to get um, Virgil Latiz back into the flow of things. He he's only had one one round in about two or three years. So um, trying to get some things back going. Then you got Jose Ramirez that just hit the uh, just, that just got on the roster. Jose Ramirez and Arnold Barbosa. So it's a lot of different things that's going on in Boston. I feel like they're doing an excellent job right now. Um, setting up things, you know what I'm saying, for the future because a lot of these guys that they're going against is definitely difficult. Cabrera's not an easy fight. I do know that. Um, I know a lot of people were saying Cabrera's going to get slept last year. Uh, yeah, I, I knew he wasn't going to. I actually thought he would almost pull up an upset, but Cabrera's a very difficult fighter, man. He's he's not somebody who's, who's easy to deal with. I feel like him and um, Zapata's style clashes very well. Um It'll be Zapata. It'll Zapata will be a difficult uh, opponent for him. It'll be a hard fight for him. I feel like Zapata will definitely um um show some different things against um Cabrera. So that's a fight I definitely want to see. Cabrera's a guy. He's not easy to deal with. But Zapata, his style as far as the way he walks through punches and kind of sets up the inside game and kind of break guys' wheel. It's it's a different kind of level as far as things. He doesn't do it the same way Matias does, anything like that, but he has some kind of shades of the way he goes about things. He's fighting guys on the inside. It's, it's a very difficult thing to deal with. But I definitely like um I definitely like what's going on in the boxing game right now though. They're trying to they're speeding things up. Like I said, a lot of these weight classes that get a lot of that get filled up quick, you gotta grab these opponents quick because is the more and more these companies sign 135s and 140s and all these other weight classes, 
the harder it is for you to find an opponent. That's why you got a lot of guys sitting out now until certain fights happen because certain opponents they can't deal with. Yeah, it's just a it's just a different level now. You know, guys at this level now, top ten, it's hard to deal with these guys. Anybody without a name, with a name, people will find out soon. But that's all I got though. Like and subscribe.